gone. Oh, Norio is from Japan. Oh, let's that's go. really cool. Okay, so most of the Japanese players that we're familiar with, right? They are the best players in the country, or at least very highly ranked players who are favored to make it deep in. Norio, on the other hand, must be maybe a newer player who's just coming over for fun and competition rate, but not an established top player necessarily. And wow, what a ridiculous character selection from these two. <laughs> Piranha Plant and Duck Hunt. Can't remember the last time I saw even one of these characters on the screen. I, I'm capping, we got Fawn and Lucky. Real. But when is the last time they were on the same screen at the same time, fighting yeah. each other? A very rare matchup here too. I'm excited to see these two players take on the matter, but it's gonna be a lot of heavy emphasis on the projectile gameplay. PD Piranha's Patui. And then we'll see Duck Hunt can come in heavy effect as well, too. Certainly seem to center a lot of the game plan around. Did the gunman can come out, leading into a single two-hit combo. Can online here, too. Going to need knocked right into it. Season definitely taking the brunt end of most of this damage. Run up, down smash. Norio reading the get-up option. Ooh, oh, the yo, angle okay. on the Patui. Okay, we got the B-reverse. Poison Cloud, Charge Cancel, to put himself right in the corner so the Patui bounces off the low end of the I ledge like right it. there. This is some technical plant right here. And by the way, we were talking about Lucky, but I also got to give his flowers uh, Brood from Japan. Real. The all bar that won Apex 2010 in Brawl and had a long, successful career in Smash 4 with Duck Hunt, yep. actually, and then switched over to Piranha Plant for this game. So maybe Norio, a bit of a brood appreciator. Appreciator. Oh, sorry guys, I, I gotta stop traveling, man. <laughs> no, oh, John. We, lo we love seeing you out here, my I'm friend. Dying. Love seeing all the players out here, especially Norio. This is crazy. I mean, one Piranha Plant, heavy, heavy character. But 180 after the hit, finally gonna die to the up air. Not too much extra credit to speak of. Can in the middle seems to be drawing the line in the sand. Norio immediately wipes that away. Oh wow, the Poison Cloud and the Patui tacking on a ludicrous amount of damage in no time at all. Gotta make sure you stay on the move against Plant. The second you stay in place, it could be very ugly for you. And Season finding this one out the hard way. Wow, all the traps out right now, my god. It had to keep running away from the gunman there too and set up perfectly for that can. Patui online gonna drop off the platform. Gunman taking one to the dome piece, but Season not taking the hit for it. And Season has shaken this off quite remarkably well. Already evening the percents up. Look, even to the decimal, it was completely even 100.5 for a brief second on both characters. And now using the can <laughs> to do the dirty work, but the Patui's doing the same. Just fighting from across the stage, not going over enemy lines as the up throw will take it. Very strong throw. That rage gonna add in a lot of knockback there. Yeah, I'm actually shocked that that killed so early. Obviously a lot of rage. Duck Hunt, not the heaviest guy out there, but Piranha Plant does really pack a punch when it comes to the throw game. I oh, love that, but angle. how did you dodge? That looked right on top of Plant. Oh, the poison there too, my goodness. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, actually, thank you, John. Yeah, the, the can may have been clanked out by the, the hitbox on the up B. Okay, either way, we've got the edge guard, yes, courtesy of the can. And that's the thing that I think really helps these two characters out. They can edge guard so many different recoveries kind of for free with their neutral Bs without having to put themselves at risk. And then they can transition straight into a ledge trap from that position. Wow, Ooh. he upbeat and attacked off of it. Norio looking not even happy to win that way. But Season, you did it to yourself, brother. You got to shake that off and keep it rolling into game two. I think we could have seen a much, much different match had that poison cloud not connected. That was crazy stuff there, too, from the corner. Here we see the conversion to get that up air kill. Yeah, I believe just catching the jumps there, too. Forcing a jump because of the can and the gunman. Yeah, and then here we just see the up throw. Like, the difference between the complex and technical setups that these characters can go for, and then LOL, I kill, you, I kill you with grab. Yeah, that, that too, yeah. They've also got some good up-close options, particularly plant, frame two jab. Definitely worth noting. Run up grab here on the neutral get up. Not gonna find the you know down throw into forward air there too. Red that roll. That's a setup we're ready for. Now stuck on the ledge trying to dodge the poison cloud, but the one way over it is to jump. And we're gonna see Norio just keep taking advantage of these Batuis. You cannot jump in on plant, it's just so difficult. Working extremely hard here too. Gonna get the zero to death, Norio. Going off that left side, super deep, and we are alive. 
The up air, not getting anything started though. Plant, a little too heavy to combo, which might seem weird, right? But if you don't send your opponent high enough, you're not going to be able to get that follow up at zero. So here it is. Still struggling to find these setups. Duck Hunt can normally like F throw dash stack a lot of characters. Plant, heavy enough to snap to the ground and tech it. Right. Kind of gets the benefits the fast fallers might get. It's not mm -hmm. being fast fallers, being heavy. But here, now at these mid percents, Ooh. the heavy characters are going to get comboed way yes. harder. We just need to see Season land a hit at all. It has been 100% Norio for the last 45 seconds. Poison Cloud here too, not going to hide in it. That's something we've seen previously. The get off, oh the can God. saving though. Season taking a world of hurt immediately. The extension off the hitbox of Can. Norco's ready for all of this. Yeah, it's crazy. The Can has done a mixture of saving and hurting Season when it comes to those ledge traps right there. But we're going to see the up throw finally end the stock after just being ping pong back and forth. I kind of feel bad for Season, man. Like, how could you have come to this tournament prepared for this? <laughs> right, and then usually that's the way Season catches other people off guard, and then you're just getting hit by your own game. Yeah, and. Japan definitely has a lot of um, peculiar characters out there, to say the least, right? I mean, Brood individually having history with both of these two. Mm -hmm. So I can definitely understand why Norio looks so comfortable against Duck Hunt, who's definitely a matchup check in a lot of ways. What a snipe, though, with the Patui going straight over the platform with it. Jump used here to wave land on platform. Not scared to land on top of the can, though. Did not seem like Season was ready to punish that landing. Let's see if he's ready to wow. get off the ledge. No, wow. Trying to air dodge through the poison cloud, and the dash tax is just going to pick it right back up. What? What? Yeah, bouncing off of it, too, there. It took a great angle. But, yeah. But Norio has crazy corners. And that's like not even an angle that Patui can normally hit, right? Because yeah, yeah, it yeah. went to the right and then partially back to the left. My god. Not going to find the forward air off the clay pigeon. Not enough knockback there. Right, just right into the loving leaves. <laughs> what? And the down smash is going to hit right there. A raw call out of the ledge option. Norio, man, I got to say, I'm so impressed by this guy's plant. And it's not even anything to do with like his tech skill or his setups. It's just the knowledge yeah. of the Duck Hunt matchup. Who is that prepared for that? I mean, we were talking about how Season can't possibly be ready for a plant of this level. But Norio looked 0% caught off guard by a no, single thing. Not at all. I, I would like to know who is ready for a plant of this level. That was, like, really good. I've never seen such fluent and consistent ledge trapping from plant there, too. Ready for rolling. Ready for every single option you can pick from ledge. Neutral get up got punished by down smash, like, two or three times. Very surgical approach to the ledge wow. trapping game. And that is plant's greatest strength, if you ask me. It is the ledge traps juggle game right up there as well. But, man, when you have to pick your poison, quite literally, between taking the ball or taking the cloud or just taking a straight-up hit from plant, it sometimes feels like you have no right choices. Right. And Norio really puts Season in a position like that. Cleaning up game two with the three stock, phenomenally done. But I just need to know, how do you do it? How did you learn this <laughs> matchup? Like, how so intimately, too. Came to you in a vision. It must have, because that's just, like... And that's stuff you can't teach. Like, that is, that is crazy, crazy understanding of, like... Probably one of the most niche matchups you could ever have. Right, Plant versus Duck Hunt. I mean, I'm impressed enough if you know the top tier matchups with Plant, because it means you've stuck with Plant, right. you really put in the hours, and you know, stuck with a character that people typically write off as being low tier. But I think Plant's got a lot more than we've seen at this stage in the meta, and I think Norio is going to be one of the leading voices in letting us know. Excited to see more over the weekend, absolutely. But we have some other crazy winners' quarters matchups coming up. We have Nevermore's The Mighty Dialga versus Suki, if I believe I'm saying that uh, correctly. Suku. Suku, okay. I think, unless it's a typo. Fair I enough. see a U. Real. We'll see. <laughs> oh, this should be fun, though. The Mighty Dialga running really, really strong with, with Bayonetta. The Bayonetta's had such a strong resurgence. We were talking about Sonic a little bit earlier. We were talking about plants, you know, kind of meta positioning over the years. But Bayonetta really seems to be coming into her own. Over the past like year or two, you have people like obviously Bloom, you have Geist, so many other really strong players, Mighty Dialga being one of them. Yeah, I think Dialga is kind of like the unsung hero of Bayonetta, right? And what's weird is that they were one of the first ones to start that renaissance. Yeah. MDVA, you know, just having this strong Bayonetta player that shows up to a weekly with a lot of viewership like Xanadu or or whatever monthly and regional events were down here. Kind of got the character on the map a bit, but then, you know, we, we saw it become a little bit more of a top-heavy thing where it's like Geist and Bloom and Amaryllis and all these other guys out there. But I'm 
definitely optimistic about Mighty Dialga. I think he's a great player, and of course, depending on who his opponent plays and what character it is, we could see that showing very greatly. Mm -hmm. Bayo's kind of a matchup dependent character. If she can combo you, she'll do great. And if she can't, it might be hard for him. Right. You have those options to be able to get out immediately, or you have maybe some really good SDI online. Maybe you played a little bit of four back in the day. Right. Lock it down. Right. <laughs> Real.